In today's video, we are at the Coronado Springs Hotel in Orlando in Florida, just a few minutes drive from some of the attractions here in Disney World. And uh, it's a really fantastic hotel. We're gonna show you around it. Um, it's literally got thousands of rooms. Uh, you've got the main hotel tower that you saw a moment ago, and then it's got rooms uh, around this lake, literally loads of them. So we'll show you around. Uh, we'll also show you the room itself and we'll take you back to the night that we arrived, rather tired uh, from a 10 hour flight, and uh, we'll show you what our first impressions were uh, to the room. So here's the lobby of the uh, hotel itself. Really uh, impressive structure. So let's head on in and uh, we'll show you um, around the main entrance area here at uh, the Coronado Springs Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Really good hotel. Uh, we're staying in one of the outdoor rooms and uh, we'll be showing you that shortly but we'll start off by showing you the uh, public areas of the uh, hotel so over this balcony down here you can see one of the uh, bar areas which is uh, really good there's also a bar up on the 16th floor which we'll go up and have a look to see if it's open to see So let us know in the comments below what you think uh, to this hotel. And then down here, uh, you can see uh, it's like a work area. So if you need to do some work on a laptop or print out some travel documents, you can do that too. And then along here, you've got lots of seating uh, with charging sockets. Great place to catch up on some work as well. And then just check out the views out of this window looking out across the main lake over there, which you'll see more of uh, in just a moment. So we're down now to the outdoor area. Uh, the bars upstairs were closed, so we'll take you back up there all being well a little bit later and uh, show you around there. So this is the walkway around um, the actual lake area. Also takes you down to the, one of the um, quick service eating restaurants. So the actual walk around this lake you can either walk around it or you can jog around it or whatever you want and it goes on for 0.9 miles it's a quite a big lake and a circuit around it and uh, over there in the center uh, there's a building over there that's another of their uh, restaurants three bridges restaurant it's called some really nice food over there as well named after the three bridges that uh, go across the lake and meet in the middle there and that stunning fountain as well really good and it gets uh, lit up at night and looks really good and just here you've got the information board for uh, some of the activities that are available here we haven't done any of the activities but if that's more your sort of thing then there's plenty of things to do so you've got poolside activities the dig site uh, that's the main pool they've also got two additional smaller pools here as well so uh, plenty of things to do here and it's this one's not really within walking distance to the Disney parks but by getting um, uh, like a ride share car like Lyft or Uber uh, cars like that then um, you can get to them within like five minutes the majority of ones you've got Epcot and then you've also got um, Hollywood Studios both of which are about just on a five minute drive uh, in one of those cars and it probably typically costs about um, probably five seven dollars something like that disney also do their own um, disney minibus i believe it's called and it's like red with white dots all over it and uh, they're a bit more expensive but they can take you right into the parks um, to the entrances and quite good to do as well so that's the lake. So let's carry on and we'll show you uh, the inside dining hall for the quick service here at Coronado Springs in Orlando. So just before we head inside, we'll show you the Laguna Bar. It's currently closed, but it opens uh, for the evenings and they've got plenty of uh, tables and chairs out here. So you can sit out in this nice weather and have a nice drink. So this is one of the quick service restaurants here at the hotel. Good choice of food as well and plenty of seating as well. Then over this side, you've got the sports bar and grill, Rick's sports bar. 
Haven't been into that one yet, but we will do um, before we go. Another restaurant here is the Ma uh, Maya Grill, which is kind of like Mexican food. Um, we've been here for one of the evenings and it's like really nice. Uh, it's currently closed at the moment, but uh, you get an idea of the theming here. Nice Mexican food. And plenty of seating as well, carries on around the corner. I think it seats about two, 300 people in total. So uh, yeah, really good choice of food here at the Coronado Springs Hotel in Orlando. So we're currently on the bridge overlooking the lake, the main hotel complex to the right there. And then all the way around it, you, you can see these other sort of smaller buildings. And these are some of the other guest rooms. And then going across the bridge there um, to the Three Bridges restaurant. So most of the restaurants at the resort, uh, you can book in advance via the, uh, their app, uh, which is really good. Um, although usually you're, you'd arrive there for say seven o'clock and then they add you to a wait list. So you may have to wait another 10, 15 minutes. So it's not necessarily like the uh, restaurants in the UK, where if you've got seven o'clock, your table is ready for seven. Here, it's a little bit different. You get there for that time and then they add you to, to a wait list. Um, but you're not, in all fairness, you're not usually waiting too long. So yeah, this is a closer look at the restaurant. It opens about, I think it's 4.30, and they serve some really good food. Um, and it's really nice as well, looking out over the lake in an evening. And um, the temperature falls to, uh, we're here in early March. So the temperature, uh, sort of Celsius wise, it's probably about 20, 24 degrees in an evening. Uh, currently, um, it's about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And we're looking at about 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. So really warm weather and it's only March. So here's a closer look at the restaurant and it's uh, one of our favorite ones over here. And uh, we'll probably have some pictures of some of the food at some point to uh, share with you. Um, but uh, no, really nice setup. And literally right over the water here. So if you're looking for a resort at uh, Disney in Florida and you want to away from the sort of normal hustle and bustle of Disney, then the Coronado Springs Hotel is one worth considering. It's one of their medium sort of range resorts. They've got the lower and they've got the higher. And this is one of their medium ones, uh, refurbished not so long ago. And uh, it's quite surprising that it's actually only in the medium category. It's absolutely a stunning place. And there's just so much accommodation here, it's unreal. So that is Villa del Lago. And uh, love the pieces on the wall there and these different uh, wind turbines, not turbines as such, not that big, but uh, really nice to see them. And the garden here that they've got as well. So this is the entrance to one of the pools that they've got. Uh, really busy there today, so we won't go inside. Uh, there's lots of people there, but uh, you'll see it's just uh, stunning surroundings. That's the main pool area. Uh, that's open 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, there's also a pool bar there serving food and drink. And then there's two smaller pools um, scattered around uh, between the different accommodations here. So just check out the views around here. We absolutely love this place and would we'll certainly uh, come back to Coronado Springs uh, the next time we come here to Disney World. So over in the distance you can see uh, the beach area and then uh, the accommodation behind that is where uh, we are and uh, we'll shortly be showing you uh, the room tour. Uh, what we did on the first night of arriving after a 10 hour flight was quite tired. Um, so we thought we'd save the rest of the tour for later in the holiday. And um, yeah, we're over there by the beach and uh, we'll take you into that room in a moment and show you um, what our first thoughts were. Uh, just here we've got a map of the area as well of the resort. Shows you all where we are. So we're just over here at the moment. And uh, we've walked all the way around here, uh, across the water to here. But you can go much further around there. But it's such a big area. We've got a huge convention centre as well for meetings. And you'll notice around here as well, you've got plenty of parking. Uh, this is where we are, the accommodation. Um, but they've got plenty of parking all the way around. And it continues all the way around uh, the resort. So if you're looking to hire a car, then uh, you've got plenty of um, places to park not too far from your accommodation. And just look at all the different amenities that we've got here. 
absolutely stunning place. Also plenty of uh, hammocks and uh, sun lounges to lounge around on, on this beach part of uh, Coronado Springs. And you've still got that awesome view of the main lake there and the E fountain, so it's really good. Um, have we used the hammocks yet? Um, no, I'll probably just get on it and fall straight back off, but uh, some people use them a bit quiet at the moment, but uh, they're really good. And then we've got the other swim pool um, just over there to the left. Um, people in there at the moment, but uh, really handy. And our hotel room is literally about a, a minute's walk from here. And we're staying just down here. So uh, let's walk down this path to the room and we'll show you the room tour that we recorded on the first evening um, of getting here. Now to get into the rooms, um, you use one of these magic bands and that basically has a chip in it and that unlocks your hotel room door. So we're just around the corner here. So this is us at room 8851. So today we've just arrived at the Coronado Springs uh, Resort here at Disney in uh, Florida. And uh, we're gonna show you around the room before we get all our things out of our cases and make a right mess. Uh, and then we'll also show you around in more detail. It's currently dark uh, when we've arrived. Uh, so we'll give you a better look around when it's daylight and around the room. So we've come into the room, a very, very quick um, look around the room, and then I'll take you around there and show you what there is. As I say, whilst it's still nice and tidy. So as you come on into the room on the right, you've got the uh, window just there behind the curtains. And then you've got a picture on the wall and a little sitting chair there. And then as you come around, you've got a nice uh, coffee machine. We've uh, had some coffee from one of these before at one of the other Disney resorts and it's really good. So looking forward to trying these over the next few days. The resort so far in the dark looks, looks nice. There's a big lake outside, uh, pretty much opposite to where we are. We're on the ground floor and um, there's one more floor above us in the part of the accommodation where we are. So there's your co uh, coffee cups and also your ice bucket so you can fill it up from the ice machine um, with some nice cold ice. And then you've got a cupboard just below. Let's take a look, see if there's anything in this. So yep, there's a, a fridge there. So uh, you can put your own uh, refreshments in there and keep them chilled. It's always handy to have. So we're here for two weeks, so it's the sort of thing where we probably will end up buying our own things um, to keep in the room as well. But we'll go into more detail as to various dining packages and what we chose to go for and, and why. Uh, just here you've got a little lamp and then you've got two sockets on there and uh, looks like um, some USB sockets or something uh, right down there at the end of that unit. And then you've got this new little device that I've heard about, and we'll show you that in more detail um, a little bit later on in the, the video. And then you've got the big TV screen um, up there, really nice TV. And then as you come back down here, you've got two sets of drawers, plenty of room to store all your things that you've bought for a week or two weeks, uh, whatever it may be. And then we've got the, the welcome books telling you all about uh, the parks. You've got your remote, remote for the TV, uh, another little sign just there. And then down here, you've got your recycling bin. And then a door to an adjoining room. We've just got the one room here. But if ever you're here with more people, it's great that you can have the adjoining room. And then just looking across here, you've got the entrance to uh, the bathroom. So let's go into there, have a quick look. So we've got uh, wardrobe space as you go in. You've got some extra pillows up there at the top. And then you've got plenty of hangers, a uh, laundry bag and a price list on there. And then you've got a bag stand for your suitcase. And then um, you've got a steam iron just there. And then the ironing board is tucked away just down the side there. So it's nice and neat. And then as we come around, the wardrobe. You've got your hand towels and your face cloths uh, just there. You've got a little bin on the floor and you've got this nice uh, cupboard unit so you can put plenty of things up there. Uh, some tissues just uh, 
down there some more sockets and then you've got these uh, little sinks uh, two little sinks which is really good and then your towels are uh, just down there so if we just step back so you can see it better it's a nice little twin unit a uh, nice large mirror and then we've got these little items just here so you've got some um, body lotion and uh, some uh, well so what we've got mouthwash a uh, shower cap um, so little bits there just to help you while you're here on your holiday and then you've got uh, a bar of soap in that little box just at the back there also you've got this uh, smaller mirror so you can uh, move that around get it at the right angle to wherever you want it to be and there's a little switch just there so you can switch it on so you can see things better so really good facilities and then as we come around here you've got the bathroom it's not that light it's a light in here there we go so in here you've got your towels you've got the toilet just there and then you've got the shower area uh, with the frosted glass so uh, let's have a look inside so as you go in uh, you've got uh, your shampoo your body wash and your uh, conditioner and a little shelf there just to put your own products on which is good so there's a the shower all in good condition and nice and clean another little ledge down there to put your things on and then you've also got um, one of these little washing line things that you can pull out all the way across and then that goes uh, to the other side so if you've been to the water parks and you've got your um, swim swim costumes trunks whatever um, you can then put them up there or if you just do a bit of hand washing um, they do have washing facilities on site um, but if you want to do your own few bits then you've got somewhere to hang them up to to dry so that's the shower part of the uh, bathroom and then you've also got a sliding door to close that off so a nice bathroom also you've got these doors here which are also sliding doors uh, matching doors and you just uh, also you know how a sliding door works and <laughs> you just slide those across so all really well and then another little picture here with some of the uh, Disney characters on which is really good and then as we look round to the bedroom area you've got a nice bedside unit nice big light and some uh, sockets on there and USB just down here at the front and then as we look around at the bed it's quite a, quite a large bed looks really good looks like it's gonna be really comfy space underneath to put your uh, cases and then also above the bed very American you've got your fan up there to keep you cool and there is actually air conditioning um, in this room and uh, you've got a nice modern unit there for the air conditioning on this side of the bed you've got the telephone and then you've got some information about the calls another light and some switches down there and then just up here you've got your air conditioning which works really well we've only been in here about five ten minutes and uh, it's really cooled down already and then you've got your chart up there so uh, that's a very quick tour of the room we'll show you around in daylight and in a bit more detail as well um, but uh, yeah that's the first evening uh, it's about half nine ten o'clock at night here and we've been traveling uh, from the uk so it's the equivalent of um, about three three a.m in the morning um, but uh, still going and <laughs> gonna make the most of the holiday so uh, yeah we'll show you around more at the uh, Conardo Springs so um, keep watching the food at the resort restaurants was to a good standard however sometimes at the main quick serve restaurant uh, the food was a little on the dry side after being sat under the heat lamps for quite a while that said the quick serve food from the main pool bar was much better with it being cooked to order the best Disney restaurant for us has to be the themed restaurant at Epcot called Space 220 Restaurant. 
You start your journey by boarding a spaceship that takes you up to the Space 220 restaurant, high up above Earth on an international space station. The theming, immersive experience and the food was truly out of this world. The best bit was seeing the young children arriving back at Epcot, looking up into the sky, trying to spot the spaceships transporting people to and from the Space 220 restaurant. If you're planning on heading to Disney anytime soon, we highly recommend uh, checking out the uh, Space 220 restaurant. We absolutely love Disney's Coronado Springs Resort and would certainly recommend it as a place to consider looking at if you are planning on a trip to Disney in Orlando anytime soon. We would love to hear what you think to the resort and whether you have a favourite Disney Resort hotel that you think we should visit. Whilst in Orlando, we also spent a night at the Universal Resort Hard Rock Hotel. Do check out our hotel review video of the Hard Rock Hotel via the link at the end of this video and also in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more videos just like this.